Father's love, everyone, and welcome. We're going to continue our devotional from the book Finders Keepers, Finders of Truth, Keepers of Faith by Robert Klaus. Today, June the 24th, entitled, The Miracle Working God is Not So High on Powerless Religion and Cessationism. The Word of God states, It is God who is at work in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Philippians 2.13 And the surpassing greatness of God's power is evident towards those who believe in accordance with the working of the strength of his might. Ephesians 1.19 The reason many don't see the mighty works of God demonstrated in and through their lives is that they have no faith and nor expectation of them. Yet we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand so that we will walk in them. Ephesians 2.10 In the early church, believers were not so intellectually incarcerated and religiously paralyzed, and so they walked supernaturally and ministered mightily. Though they often were uneducated and untrained, yet because they had been with Jesus and boldly proclaimed his name, they experienced God working supernaturally through them and silencing the naysayer religious crowds who opposed them. Acts 4, 12 to 14 and Acts 3, 16. They believed that God was able to do exceedingly abundantly beyond all that they could ask for and think, according to the power that worked in them, the power of His Spirit, Ephesians 3, 16 and 20. These spirits filled servants of God, upset the whole world, Acts 17, 6. For God was working through them in such a way that lost sinners noticed them rather than laughed at them, and demons recognized them and were cast out by them. Acts 19.15, Acts 8.4-8, and Acts 16.16-18. Concerning Philip, it is written, Even Simon himself believed, and after being baptized, he continued on with Philip. And as he observed signs and great miracles taking place, he was constantly amazed. Acts 8, 13. Paul also spoke of such supernatural power working through him as a minister of Christ Jesus. For I will not presume to speak of anything except what Christ has accomplished through me, resulting in the obedience of the Gentiles by word and deed, in the power of signs and wonders, in the power of the Spirit. Romans fifteen, eighteen and 19. Even to the foolish and bewitched and powerless and religious Galatians, Paul stated, Does he then, who provides you with the Spirit and works miracles among you, do it by the works of the law or by hearing with faith? Galatians 3, 1 and 5. And this should be no surprise, for Jesus said, Truly, truly, I say to you, He who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to the Father. John fourteen twelve. Jesus would ascend to his Father and send the Holy Spirit to baptize, indwell, and empower his followers. Matthew three eleven. John 16, 7, Luke 24, 49, and Acts 1, 8. And to glorify the Son through them, John 16, 14. Jesus said to his Father, And the glory which you have given me, I have given to them, John 17, 22. For just as thou didst send me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. John seventeen eighteen. 
and that glory was first demonstrated by his first miracle at the wedding in Cana. John comments on Jesus' act of turning water into wine. This beginning of his signs Jesus did in Cana of Galilee, and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed in him. John 2, 11. And God has not ceased to this day to demonstrate his glory. For this, Christ in you, the hope of glory, Colossians 1, 27, is the same yesterday and today, yes, and forever, Hebrews 13, 8. We do not need a new definition of Christianity, but that old-time preaching and true demonstration of the Spirit and of power, 1 Corinthians 2, 4 and 5. Believers understand that the supernatural acts of God build up their faith as John remind them at the end of his book. Therefore, many other signs Jesus also performed in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book. But these have been written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. John 20, verse 30, and John 21. Of course, we do not worship the miracles of God, but the God of miracles. Not the gifts, but the giver. Not signs and wonders, but the Son in wonder. Proper worship of God in spirit and truth will not place him inside a religious box with his hands tied, but outside the box, free to work. And just as the Apostle Paul taught, now there are varieties of the gifts, but the same spirit, and there are varieties of ministries, and the same Lord. There are varieties of effects, but the same God who works all things in all persons. 1 Corinthians 12, 4-6 And the exalted and glorified Jesus gave to his church some as apostles, and some as prophets, and some as evangelists, and some as pastors and teachers, for the equipping of the saints, for the work of service, to the building up of the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God to a mature man. Ephesians 4, 11-13 And the last time I looked, his church has not yet obtained that state, and there is still a need for the equipping of the saints. I hope that this morning's devotional blesses you. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Don't forget to pray for the children, our fellow brothers and sisters all around the world, and those lost in the darkness, so that they too can find that light. May our Father bless you, keep you, be gracious unto you, and most of all, give you his peace. I'll see you next time.